Day 3 from Never Revolution at Dimdex 2022, Doha, Qatar. Jamie Walters, I'm with General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. We're based in San Diego, California in the United States. And we brought the MQ-9 Bravo Sea Guardian here for display at Dimdex. So the MQ-9 Bravo Sea Guardian is really our latest generation in the MQ-9 family of systems. It pulls its heritage from the original MQ-9 Alpha system that has been deployed with US Air Force as well as many of our partner nations and allies. The MQ-9 Bravo series builds on that heritage, improves endurance, airspace integration, and capabilities to fill our customer mission capability gaps. So the MQ-9 Bravo Sea Guardian, it's a 12,000 pound class aircraft. So it's a large aircraft, a 79 foot wingspan, 36 feet long. It's a medium altitude, long endurance, unmanned system. In its current configuration, it is equipped for maritime domain awareness, anti-surface warfare type missions with the maritime radar installed. That can be uninstalled and it can go into overland missions very easily for wide area surveillance, but it can be used for civilian purposes as well, such as search and rescue. You think about the sea ice in the Arctic beginning to melt and the Northwest Passage opening up, it's gonna open up more shipping lanes, for commercial traffic as well as ecotourism. It can be sent up there to do search and rescue missions or monitor ship movement, sea ice, and help predict when those lanes are open and avoid potential hazards in the Northern Sea as well as that Northwest Passage. Very, very capable system. And it's a, think of about it as a single platform multi-mission. I can train on a, all my flight crews, my logistics, and then I train to the mission and I'm only one pod away or one sensor away from a new mission on this platform. So very, very, very capable in its mission expansion and what it can do. My name is Kim Williamson. I'm, I'm from Patria. Uh, I'm responsible for our underwater systems in our portfolio management organizers. Patria is well known over here about our 8x8 vehicles and this time we are showcasing our underwater systems as well. We have been active on the underwater surveillance, mine warfare and anti-submarine warfare for quite a long time already, decades I mean, and we haven't been so active in export markets. Last year we won deals in Norway and uh, Dutch Belgium navies with our underwater systems and uh, we think that the Gulf area would be very interesting for us. Patria Sonar ACS, our brand new acoustic mine sweeping system, we can detonate influence sea mines acoustically by using our own Sonar ACS system. My name's uh, Sammy Messon and I'm the Business Development Lead here at Atlas Electronic UK. So we are a uh, provider of innovative maritime systems to uh, UK Royal Navy as well as uh, export navies as well. We cover ourselves across three main areas, so uh, MCM, so Mine Countermeasure Capabilities. We're also experts in sonar, both for uh, above and below water and in the ship and submarine domains. And then we're a provider of integrated system, which covers a number of different areas. Sure, so what you see behind me is called Project Wilton. And Project Wilton delivers an autonomous route survey capability to the UK Royal Navy, bringing together a number of different technologies, whether that's our integrated C-class platforms, which provide a modular design and modular capability that can be, can be changed uh, from, from an interoperability perspective for different operations. Um, and then behind me is our RSIM's USV, uncrewed surface vehicle, which again is in this configuration is used for route survey capability, but has also been integrated with towed side scans and, and synthetic aperture sonars, as well as our RSIM C-Sense anti-submarine and littoral surveillance products as well. And then again, for the Royal Navy, we also have our autonomous mine sweeping capability that's just being delivered at the moment.